Today I'm going to give you a great little game to play when it's a quiet days on the golf course like today. Hello, my name is Dave and welcome to 4 to 4 Golf. If you are new here, I make golf videos out of Perth in Western Australia and sometimes further afield. April for me is all about the short game. I'm going to be going through one fun game to make your short game better this year. I am in the short game area. It's uh, unusual for me. But April is short game month. And that probably explains why. So I am spending April with a huge focus on short game. And uh, that starts with practice first and foremost. So that's what I'm doing now. I've got a couple of different pins. I've got some balls dotted around. And uh, we're just practicing technique to start with, like that, go in, not far away. Still not quite there. Hello. No, nah, it's been a little while since I made a video. And um, there's only one real reason for that, it's laziness. Um, I had a little bit of time off, you don't care about that. Anyway, uh, the focus now, for, throughout April is on short game. So I've changed coaches. I don't know which one's taking responsibility for that. I'm now working with Matthew Heath. Um, excited about that. Matt, you would have seen on the channel a few times. And um, yeah, working out cot slow with him. Obviously we've seen some videos from that part of WA as well. What about the best of that flag so far? That has the focus for me on short game. So we're working on my technique within that short game, and he's probably watching this right now, crying because I'm not listening to him. But every so often, I hit a good one like that. So I'm gonna be going through some games, I'm gonna be going through some drills, and we'll be doing some stuff out on course, all in and around the short game. So stay tuned, and uh, I'll try and hold this. Definitely winning. So basically, what I've been working on is keeping my club head outside my hands and then rotating slowly through the ball. Hello. I'm going to that far flag, weight forward. Clipped it nicely, took a big hop right. Not too bad. I'm gonna go to this nearer flag here. Obviously don't need anywhere near as much of a backswing. Looking for the contact. Easy, that's it, completed the short game. Okay, so we've talked about the technique that we're gonna be working towards. So now it's about putting the reps in. So first one is horrible. That's, uh, that happens when I just get a little bit too quick through the ball, I try and kind of really throw a thing at it. That's a bit more of a I'll slide it underneath and um, that one nearly went in, to be perfectly honest. Again, decent one, that one, almost hold it. In fact, a few of these almost go in. So basically trying to use the bounce of the club as much as I can. Um, I have a real tendency to get quite steep. You can see me there just kind of simulating, trying to get my, the club head outside of my hand, but then also stay quite shallow through the ball. Um, the other tendency that I've had is to get really wrapped around myself and even that one you saw the club head sort of try to desperately get behind me while I try to uh, and that one as well uh, while I try and get to something that's more familiar but when I do keep that club head outside I get a really nice path through the ball um, that exaggeration there because I wasn't necessarily completely happy with the one before it again almost hold that one so it's really important to go and put these reps in and more than anything, I'm thinking about contact with this. I'm, I'm trying to get a good contact on the ball. I mean, if they go close, yes, that's obviously what I want. Um, that one's a bit off target, but it will get better, you'll see. And uh, yeah, really just trying to uh, get this stuff nailed down so that when I get out on the course, I can be a lot more creative. So 
With that in mind, these last couple of balls, we'll head over to the course to uh, play this little game. And uh, thanks for sticking around. If you have enjoyed the video up to this point, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't done so already. I'll see you on the course. So I have a new coach now, Matt Heath, and one of the games that he wants me to play around the green is finish your hole as normal and then drop a ball down and you, you can't leave the hole until you've got up and down once. So we're gonna try that now. We're gonna see how many attempts it takes me to get up and down and I will move the spots around. So I apologize if you can't quite see it. Let's see if we can get it done in one. Well, that was trash. So let's see if I can make the putt. Oh, not quite. So, we're gonna pick somewhere else and we're gonna try and get down from there. So I'm gonna go over that side this time. See how long we're here. It gets dark in about 20 minutes, but I probably need to worry about the sprinklers before that. Right, similar sort of distance. This one's downhill though. Let's, uh, let's have a better swing on this one because uh, that was not good. Fancy this one. grab, run on a bit, for much better contact. Second time. So keep a log of that as you're going round and see if you can improve. Obviously the pressure, it puts you under as well, is particularly if you had a group behind you or something like that. Obviously you're not gonna hold up play, but you know, give it a crack. If you did enjoy the video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you would like to as well. Leave me a comment, share, all that good stuff. Good to be back making videos again. See ya soon. So I've got a new coach, Matt Heath, and one of the games that he wants me to play around the game, uh, around the f me, I cannot even talk anymore. It's been a little while since I made a video, and today is gonna be a quick one. For me, short game month, is, oh sorry, I am in the short game area. Yeah, I know. It's probably where I should have been a while ago, but here now. Um, nah, just hit some shots down a lot. And uh, you definitely can't see that from where this is. So this entire video is a massive waste.